I play Brooke Wyndham. I'm an exercise instructor who's got a very own patented fitness program called the Cardio Whip 5000, which is um, based around a skipping rope. Um, I've been accused of murdering my six-year-old very rich husband. Everybody assumes that it's for his money, but innocent until proven guilty, and Elwood steps in to defend me. She's an old Delta New girl, so it's very much about the sisterhood. Um, and my big number is in the second act, it opens the second act, and it's inside the jail with the other inmates, and um, we pull out the skipping rope and get fit. No rest for the wicked. It's, um, it's a really high energy role. She, she's by nature very caffeinated, which kind of gives her that slightly psychotic edge. On the very first day, I met the gorgeous tall drink of water that is Jerry Mitchell, shook hands with him, shook hands with my skipping rope, and he said, this is your new mistress. And he was not kidding because it whips my ass every single day of the week. And um, it's grueling, it really is. But the great thing is that I get to sing for myself. It's the most joyous job of all, and I get fit on the job. So for an old tart, I'm actually in good Good condition. Erica is fierce. She is fierce. She's there's not a breath out or a note out of out of sync ever. Don't judge and me. She's doing all this high energy skipping, singing uh, tits off, and um, looking fantastic. And she's never missed a beat. Oh, Touch wood. Touch wood. <laughs> The thing is, David doesn't look good in um, institute, you know, Boston Women's Correctional yeah, Facility no. Institution Orange. It's a fluorescent no, orange. That's the only which reason you need why I'm not in it. Yeah. yeah, it's the only reason I'm not in it. The yeah. costume just didn't, didn't go. Mm. Yeah, so otherwise I'd, particular. Yeah, I'd be in it. I'd be fine. <laughs> I'm a first year grad student uh, at Harvard Law, and I meet Elle Woods, the main character played by Lucy Durack, and we become mates over a slow burn time. I, I teach her that she can be more than the blonde, perceived blonde bimbo that some people think she is and uh, she can achieve a lot more if she knuckles down and, and uh, works hard and we become mates during that. And uh, we are assigned to Brooke Wyndham's trial to get her off. Mm -hmm. No, it's not fair. It's not fair that, um, you know, a dog can come on stage, didn't study, didn't, you know, mm -hmm. hasn't warmed up really at all and, you know, yeah, that gets the biggest applause just mm -hmm. by walking on stage. Mm -hmm. It's not fair. Mm -hmm. And definitely the cutest cast members. Yeah. 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 And I've never been into chihuahuas before. Um, not in any other way, just the <laughs> yeah, cute factor. I'm just not into them. Um, but they're beautiful dogs. And the they are, they're so I'm a little bit the gorgeous. same. I've always been like little dogs. Well, like a Ugh. kitten gone wrong. But there's, we've got this new dog, which is a rescue dog, um, and she's, it's like a she's rag being to riches. groomed um, to being a show dog, and her name's Audrey. And she has the attitude of a Doberman. She's just, oh, she's just like, walks, the other ones are kind no of, sort of they, they tremble a little bit. They're kind of that wet eyed and, and nervous. Audrey is just, she's, it's like she's lived on this earth for a really long time. Yeah. She's absolutely no problem coming and up. She's and about having, that big. She's tiny. <laughs> she's tiny. So you, I, all of a sudden I have this new appreciation of the huge characters that are trapped in these tiny little, yeah. you know, very timid bodies. And she was on death row and suddenly mm. she's in a musical. Yeah, it's and wild. That's how it happens. Um, I saw it when I, when, you know, when I was auditioning and went uh, before auditions just to kind of check it out and check the style and the show. Uh, and it does vary. It's, um, it, it morphed into a new kind of... It, there's a lot of similarities, exactly, you know, but there are some things that have been changed to take it to the UK and we've pretty much got the UK version yeah. of events. Um, and I think from all reports, I didn't obviously see it live in uh, New York, but I, I saw the London version. And from all reports, everyone is saying that the changes are for the better mm. and it's focused a lot more on the characters and caring and, and investing in those characters to make the show work. Did you say it? Yeah. Um, yeah. The MTV? Um, yeah, I've watched that on YouTube. Yeah, I, I think that um, the English version seems to be getting reports back that it was, it was a much warmer production. Um, and while the, the show is obviously celebrating everything that's brassy and tacky and, and kind of cheery about American culture, I think that... The, the English translation of it, the London translation of it, seemed to translate a lot better to, to broader audiences. Well, I think what, what we're getting from our audiences is that they come expecting one thing and get something completely, well, not completely different, but something added. They just, mm. they, they don't think they would have laughed so much and had such a great time. Um, it's a very it, it's a clever, lot... very quick-witted, um, script and I think people sort of expect it to be a little bit of a one trick pony that that's the storyline that's all you get but there's all these new elements that I've added there's Emmett's definitely a much more prominent character in the stage production I don't even remember you in the, the film so yeah, it's it, a bit of a non it's not a memorable character whereas here you're larger than life and then he it's 
it's a lot funnier. It just mm. is. And we, we saw that. I hadn't seen the film since it first came out. And I didn't watch it until after we'd opened in Sydney. And a whole group of us went to the cinema and they were, air, they were showing it for one performance. And, uh, and we went and I was watching it. I was like, ah, oh, this isn't funny. Mm, Our show is yeah. so much funnier and sparkier. And, you know. Um, so I think that's why people, if they know the film, they'll expect that kind of level. But it's ramped up a lot more. So is this a musical for everyone? Absolutely. I mean, there's, there's the themes, that, there's a really strong theme of sisterhood, and I think Elle's such a strong modern hero. She's that resilient modern woman. Um, but yeah, I think it's definitely something that will resonate for, for all ages. Um, the, the jokes appeal to men, women, and children, and, and I just think, yeah. And every character resonates on some different level to audience members. I have people uh, message me on um, Facebook or Twitter or somewhere and saying, you know, thank you so much. I really. Could, I could relate to your character because I didn't grow up in a very well-to-do situation and I had to work hard to get what I think, to get anything I, I wanted and, and to work hard at that. And, and the whole message of the show is never judge a book by its cover. Mm. There's always something else underneath for you to dig out and, and to show. Everybody's and every been, character, been a of that. Yeah, That's every character in the show has that mm. element. So you might, on first appearances you go, oh, I judge you this is what you are, and it kind of flicks around 180 degrees.